Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Uh, I was not planning on filming today, but we are going to a barbecue later and I am in charge of bringing a side dish and a dessert. For the dessert, I'm gonna do a sourdough discard peach cobbler with the peaches that I preserved last summer. And I'm always looking for good recipes for my sourdough discard. So we're gonna try this one out. And we live in the Midwest, so we cannot show up to a barbecue without a casserole, of course. Um, and the hash brown casserole that we like to make is delicious. My husband absolutely cannot stand casseroles, but this one is his go-to. So let's just, let's just get to it. Okay, for the sourdough discard peach cobbler, what you're going to need is a cup of sugar, a cup and a quarter of flour, a third of a cup of sourdough discard, some peaches, some baking powder, two teaspoons, and then three quarter cup of milk. So we're just gonna put it all in and mix it up. So we're gonna do a cup and a quarter of flour. I eyeball things because that's just like the kind of person I am. So <laughs> there's that. All right, so that was the flour. And now we need a cup of sugar. And two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna whisk that together. Okay, now we're gonna do three and a quarter cup of milk. that together now for the best part our sourdough discard we're gonna do one third of a cup of discard um, this is just a random side note. Uh, my discard's name, actually I actually have two discards because <laughs> I just do. Um, this one, her name is Mabel. And I got her from a friend that we're actually going to tonight. We're going to their barbecue. So, okay. Put that in there. Telling you any new recipe that I can find to use my discard is a good day. I'm just gonna mix it up. This is the easiest recipe. It doesn't really take much. That looks, that looks good. So I have half a cup of butter in this pan. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. So I'm just going to go ahead, put this in the oven so it can melt while it's preheating. And that saves me from putting it in the microwave. Hey! All right. I just took the melted butter out of the oven and then we have our peaches that I like I said we canned these last summer. I'm definitely going to do a video on it because they are so good. And then I have this lid lifter that I got from a lady on Instagram and it is it's amazing. It's 
so amazing. I think her name is Five Acre Homestead. I'm pretty sure. But yes, this thing is amazing. So yep, there's our peaches. And now we are going to just scoop the dough, not mixing it or anything, into the butter. We're gonna stir it, we're gonna mix it, like I said, I'm just gonna pour it in. Alright, that is so much butter, but we're going to roll with this. So now I'm just going to take my peaches. You, oh. <laughs> oh, such a mess. Um, you can use raspberries, blackberries, um, probably blueberries. Any kind of berry would be good. I, I love, <laughs> this is not going well. I, I love peaches, so we're going to go with the peach cobbler. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle some brown sugar on the top and then I'm also gonna sprinkle some cinnamon. Um, let your heart decide how much brown sugar and cinnamon you want. I am, I, I'm not gonna lie, I've never made this particular recipe before because it's a discard recipe and I've never tried it. Um, the, the amount of butter that is in this is it's scaring me a little bit and I probably should not have tried this recipe when I'm supposed to bring in an actual good dessert <laughs> to this barbecue, but hopefully it's good. Now I'm gonna just put some cinnamon on the top. <clears throat> cinnamon is like one of the best things ever. So if you don't like cinnamon, <laughs> uh oh. And then once I am done with my cinnamon sprinklage, um, like I said earlier, it's 350 in the oven, 350 uh, for 40 minutes. I'm probably gonna check it at like 35 and just see how it's doing. But I'll show you guys when it's done. Y'all, it actually looks so good. I cannot wait to try this. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Also, peep Jonathan hanging the laundry for me because he's the nicest and peep Calvin trying to play with the neighbor <laughs> oh they're gonna give him treats oh my god oh my god oh he's getting treats Calvin loves the neighbors also Jonathan's literally the best all right, so for the hash brown casserole, you need a package of shredded hash browns. We need some cream of chicken soup. Um, if you are a vegetarian, you can use cream of mushroom, which I have done, and it tastes just as good. But this is just what I have downstairs in my pantry, so this is what we're going to use. You need a half cup of melted butter, one pint of sour cream, two cups of Colby Jack cheese shredded, and one half of an onion diced up. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is dice up this onion. I'm gonna put it in the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna shred this cheese, but no one wants to watch me shred cheese, so I'm gonna spare you the, the viewing of this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and shred it. I said that I wasn't gonna make you watch me shred this cheese, but I'm just popping in to say that the recipe calls for two cups of shredded cheese. You don't have to shred your own. You can buy the pre-shredded. 
Um, and I'm just doing this entire eight ounce block of Colby Jack cheese. Okay, bye. Okay. I have my onion and I have my cheese in here. So now I'm gonna add my half cup of melted butter. And then I'm gonna add one pint of sour cream. my can of cream of chicken <laughs> Calvin's nose um, like I said before if you're a vegetarian you can do a uh, cream of mushroom and I think you can also do the cheddar soup I've never tried that one but cream of mushroom is just as good so I'm gonna add this telling you guys this this casserole is so good if you've ever been to Cracker Barrel <laughs> I'm so I am so Midwest if you've ever been to Cracker Barrel they have a hash brown casserole that is basically the same as this and it is delicious all right now that we have all that I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir Looks pretty good. good enough. Good enough. And now I'm just gonna dump in my bag of shredded hash browns. If you have a bigger bowl than I do, that would be ideal. Just, just so you know. All right, now that I have it all mixed up, I have my casserole dish, nine by 13, all sprayed. And I am actually going to go ahead and add some black pepper to this and just mix it up. Okay, now that I mixed in my black pepper, I'm just gonna dump this into here. This is so much casserole. And if you want, you can put half of the cheese in and then put the other half of the cheese on the top. I just went ahead and mixed it all in instead of putting some on the top. Both ways work fantastic. All right. Now we're gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes. Um, I'm gonna start with 50 minutes and we're gonna see how it goes. Hi. <laughs> does it look good? It does, it does look good. Does it look good enough to take over? Yes. <laughs> I burnt myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like 90% better. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> We're like Paula Dean up in here. Okay, so I have some panko that I cooked with some green onion and butter last week for a recipe, but it's it was left over. So I'm going to put it on top of this and maybe put it back in the oven for like five minutes. But obviously this isn't necessary. It was just in my fridge and I don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to use it. That looks pretty good. 
We wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through